As much as I hate to say this, the one thing that I think really hurts AEW um, in the eyes of a lot of the fans that feel that, you know, AEW is being overhyped and nobody's really seeing the truth. I think what's really hurting AEW in those fans' eyes is the fact that you have the AEW fans and the supporters and those that basically support AEW, in my opinion, to rebel against WWE till WWE changes, you know, the way it presents, you know, its stars, is when news comes out that somebody's contract is going to be up very soon in a certain company, more likely WWE, and the first thing they say is, you know, this person at AEW, you know, this person, you know, the AEW, this person reunites with a partner in AEW, this, this, AEW that, AEW this. And, you know, I think that's what's hurting AEW. You know, it's because every wrestling fan, and this is where AEW's diehards, and I say this with all due respect, always get pulverized, always get blasted by those that sound like WWE diehards or supporters or whatever. It's because they always, you know, first assume and assume and believe that an individual when the contract is up from WWE is going to be AEW bound. In this case, it's Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly, along with Roderick Strong, are the last two remnants of Undisputed Error in WWE. Now, Roderick didn't show up or join up in, with uh, UE, if you will, uh, until later on, because it was a storyline that they were pursuing him, and then it basically culminated with him joining and becoming, you know, basically a very important member. Um, but Kyle was there since the beginning, along with Bobby Fish and Adam Cole. And now... With reports that his contract is up next month, a lot of fans, AEW diehards and all that, are assuming and saying, assuming, assuming and saying that he's going to go AEW. Some fans are coming on to Facebook group pages reporting this and saying, you know, in the comment section, Kyle, get the you know f out of there, you know, you know, Kyle, you know, go to AEW or Kyle, it's about time you you were able to leave, go and stuff like that, you know, head to. AEW, Reunite Red Dragon, and, and things like that. People keep people are saying that constantly. And nothing against that if that's what they feel and believe. But here's the thing. Kyle may have a 30-day non-compete clause if he doesn't choose to resign. Which means we won't see Kyle until at least, at least February of 2022. You know, in AEW, if we do. The same with Johnny Gargano. His contract is up very soon. And a lot of people assume he's going to be AEW bound. But how do we know? How do we not know he's going to stay? I mean, right now, it looks like more than likely he may stay despite what he's associated with. And the fact that Candice LeRae, his wife, is expecting. I don't think, you know, changing, you know, changing uh, companies right now would be the best interest for him to do so. And that's a fact. Again, I'm not someone like Johnny Gargano, but I'm just saying that's my opinion. You know, Kevin Owens is obviously making it no, you know, no secret that he wants to leave. But then again, maybe that's part of a storyline to where eventually he reveals he's resigned. Who knows? The point is, what really hurts AEW fans and makes them look bad is when they assume somebody's going to be AEW bound. All because they want their dream matches. And I don't blame them if they want their dream matches. But the thing is, if that person is going to be AEW bound, like they're assuming Kyle O'Reilly is, then they need to be patient. They need to be patient. I mean, who knows? Kyle might say, hey, I'm going to sign a, 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 a six-month extension just to see what, you know, happens here with NXT and see whether or not they're going to move me up to the main roster or they're going to keep me here where I'm happy. You know, he may do that. We don't know. But the point is, you know, we shouldn't assume something right off the bat because we want it to happen. All we know right now is his contract is up next month, according to PW Insider. But that may all change. And it may all change. I mean, I know just Alex would love for that to happen. He's been an outspoken person about that happening. I mean, how many times has he joked about, you know, someone, you know, getting ready to leave. And he's like, you know, he's pretending to be Tony Khan and said, how much you need? Okay, see you on Monday. Click. You know, he just did that with Bray Wyatt. When he did his video on the Bray Wyatt situation and some of the news that came out recently, uh, recently as of yesterday and you know, in the past 24, 48 hours, he, you know, he role-played as Tony Khan saying, Wyndham, how much you need? Okay, 
Duh. Okay, deal. Done. See you on Wednesday. Click. Or, how much do you need, Wyndham? Okay, see you at full gear on Saturday, November 13th. Click. You know, it's because he wants to see it. Like I said, that's, you know, what's, you know, causing AEW fans to have a bad name when they assume stuff like that. But what are your thoughts? Comment down below, live chat down the video, like to check out the Teespring, check out Patreon, Venmo, BW Roses on Vimo, and all the audio podcast locations for BW discussions except for Pandora. But let me know what your thoughts are. Sorry to finish up so quickly. My mom just came home. That's what you heard in the background before I paused. And I will talk to you all later.